one. Hi guys, Mr. McKinley here. Today I'm just going to speak to you a little bit about hygiene. Um, and in particular, your own personal hygiene or teenage hygiene, okay? So um, through the slide, we'll be looking at why you should care about your hygiene um, and giving you some tips and techniques on how to keep good personal hygiene. As you can see up here in the top right-hand corner, I've got my solo taxonomy symbol. So at the moment, we're at a pre-structural stage, okay? We don't know anything about what's gonna happen within these slides or the information that we're going to get, okay? As the slides go on, hopefully your knowledge increases and um, you'll go through the different levels of solo taxonomy. What is hygiene? Hygiene is defined as a, co a condition promoting sanitary practices, personal hygiene, cleanliness, <clears throat> whose aim is to preserve health and prevent the spread of disease to make free from germs or dirt. Okay, so a couple of important words in here, personal hygiene, so your own hygiene, how it relates to you, cleanliness, you know, staying clean and being clean, and the aim is to preserve health and prevent the spread of disease. Okay, so if you have good personal hygiene, you can prevent the spread of disease. As you can see up here, over the next couple of slides, we'll be moving from um, the unistructural stage, so one idea, into the multi-structural stage, or multiple ideas. Um, so hopefully you can pick up a few ideas through these next couple of slides. What does good hygiene look like? Okay, so brushing your teeth twice a day, morning and night, washing your hands before every meal, um, maybe even you've been outside, you've touched something that was a bit dirty, washing your hands, making sure they're clean. Okay, uh, having an anti antiperspirant or a deodorant or using an antiperspirant or deodorant every day, uh, making sure we're showering once a day at least, um, ideally twice a day, and making sure our body's nice and clean, but also not wearing the same clothes five days in a row or changing um, those stinky socks three days in a row. So we need to make sure we're wearing clean clothes, okay, because that helps with our hygiene as well. What happens if we have poor personal hygiene? Okay, we're moving into our relational stage, so we're taking those ideas and relating them back to ourselves. What happens if we don't have good personal hygiene? Uh, obviously, you've probably smelt it before, you've heard it, you know, the idea of cheesy feet, so people having um, dirty feet and not changing their socks. There is a cheesy smell that's kind of secreted from the body. Um, you know, you might be that stinky kid in class, no one really wants to be that stinky kid in class, and you might find that your friends, because your hygiene isn't as great, they might not want to hang out with you as much, okay? So um, be aware of that. That is a possible um, thing. Also, spreading of diseases. Now, that's the most important thing that we're trying to stop here. So if you have picked up an infection or a disease or something, um, and you don't use your high or you don't keep your personal hygiene um, to a good level, then you're likely to spread that disease, okay? And that's what we don't want. Our main sweat spots around the body, um, as you can see, we're still in our relational aspect of solo taxonomy. Our head, obviously with our hair on our head, our um, hair follicles produce oil, and if we let that build up, it turns our hair all greasy and it's not a good look. Um, also with hair product and the amount of hair product we're putting into our hair, um, that can create a greasy look as well. Our face, we're trying to prevent uh, pimples and acne and those sort of things. Our hands, which are really important. Remember, we're using um, our hands to eat generally, okay, and they do come into close contact with our mouth and our digestive system. So if you've gone out um, before you eat and you've maybe played in some dirt and then you haven't washed your hands, that dirt can then be transferred onto your food, which can be um, transported into your digestive system, okay? So it's not very good if you haven't washed your hands. Underneath our armpits, that's where... Um, our antiperspirant and our deodorant comes in, and our groin and buttocks. We need to make sure that they're washed really well every time we get into the shower. Okay, we've talked a little bit about our feet um, and what happens if we wear socks, you know, three or four days in a row, um, or if we don't clean our feet. Uh, here's some tips, guys, for having great personal hygiene. So take a look at this short video. It's only four minutes long. It's done by some year 10 students, um, and they actually give 10 tips um, to have good personal hygiene. So as you're going along, uh, make sure you see how many of those tips you do, or if you can pick up any new tips on how to make your personal hygiene level a bit better. As you can see, we're moving now into our extended abstract, okay? So identifying what we need to do in terms of our personal hygiene and relating that back into our own life, being able to implement that into our life, okay? So just click, click on the link down here, personal hygiene, and that will take you to that four minute video. I'll see you in four minutes. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, the last little thing we're going to look at today is a deodorant or an antiperspirant, okay? So some people might think that they are the same thing. They're not actually the same thing. An antiperspirant keeps you from sweating, okay? So it stops that sweat from happening, whereas a deodorant 
targets the bacteria um, that are already there and it creates an environment which bacteria struggle to live in. Okay, so generally an antiperspirant, you'll get up in the morning before you start to do anything um, and you'll put on your antiperspirant to stop you from sweating. A deodorant is generally used, you know, after sweating has occurred to try and contain um, that bacteria. Okay, so maybe you've uh, done some sports, you've been to the armory, you've had a bit of a run around at lunchtime, um, then you put on the deodorant um, to stop that bacteria from multiplying and surviving. It also smells, makes you smell a little bit better as well. Okay, guys, well, um, thank you very much for listening. So hopefully you've picked up some good tips and techniques and ideas around personal hygiene and how you can improve your own personal hygiene. Um, what you need to do now is do the quiz. Hopefully you get them all right. And if you need to, you can come back to this video to watch it again to pick up um, some of the answers that you may have missed. Okay, see you later.